desde Texas a California. His songs were always about social justice, a man who would pick up his guitar when someone asked for help. He would go and perform when he knew that people couldn't afford to pay, and he would perform for community organizations. Noe marched with Cesar Chavez and always wore the emblem of the United Farm Workers. He traveled to the fields with the community group Amigos de Cesar Chavez and played music for the farm workers, thanking them for their labor. That's when Noe wasn't on stage with the group El Teatro Campesino, often playing the role of Saint Juan Diego, the Mexican peasant who witnessed the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe. I will miss him. Uh from the bottom of our heart to the tops of our minds, you know, for the rest of our lives. Uh, Movie director Luis Valdez is the founder of El Teatro. He represented the very finest expression of our popular culture. La, La Raza lived in him, and he uh, celebrated La Raza through his presence, through his talent, through his kindness. He's a man of great heart and tremendous courage. Noe posted on social media just three days ago that he was feeling better after being diagnosed with COVID. News arrived Thursday that he had lost his fight. It's a total heartbreak. Uh, Noe Montoya was the blood and bone of the teatro. He's been called a cultural warrior, a champion of civil rights, a man who lived a simple life and always stood in the trenches for the cause. La causa. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.